RAM is short for Random Access Memory. This memory may be accessed randomly, which means that any byte of memory may be accessed without touching the preceding bytes. RAM is the most common type of memory found in computers and other devices, such as printers. All programs and applications are stored in RAM when they are opened and removed from RAM when they are closed. RAM is much faster than ROM, but all data stored in RAM is lost when the computer is turned off. A bit, short for binary digit, is the smallest unit of information on a computer. A single bit may hold only one of two values, either 0 or 1. A byte, short for binary term, is a collection of 8 bits and is capable of holding a single character, 256 different values. Bytes are grouped together into larger units as follows. Kilobyte, or 1,000 bytes. Megabyte, or 1 million bytes. Gigabyte, or 1 billion bytes. Terabyte, or 1 trillion bytes. Petabyte, or 1,000 terabytes, and so on. Expansion slot is an opening in a motherboard where special device cards may be inserted. These special devices include additional memory, graphics cards, network cards, USB or FireWire controllers, and many more. The device cards are called expansion cards, expansion boards, or add-ons. The expansion slot allows the motherboard to communicate with the expansion card and add the new capability to the computer system. A software application, or just application, is any program or group of programs that is designed for the end user. Applications can be divided into two general classes, system software and application software. System software are programs that tell the computer how to work, such as the operating system. Application software, also called end-user programs, include such things as word processors, database programs, web browsers, video games, and spreadsheets. A computer mainframe is a very large and expensive computer capable of supporting hundreds or even thousands of users simultaneously. Mainframes are primarily used by large companies or organizations, like government entities, who need to have many people work on the same program or database, such as the IRS or Census Bureau. The term mainframe comes from the early days of computers when large metal cabinets called mainframes were used to house the CPU and memory. <laughs> Thank you.